Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. Our first night sit, finally got the rain to stop. First night out. So we got set up in this area. There's a lot of down trees, a lot of wind blow down. We're gonna get set up and see what we can do. Hey, welcome to this week's show. And this week, uh, yeah, we are heading to Saskatchewan. Can you say, can you even spell Saskatchewan? I know you can. No. Yeah. Hey, but anyways, we're gonna head up with Deep in the Bush Adventures and Jeff and Ron. And I mean, we're taking our Browning crossbows and we're We are having a hunting. blast. It's, yeah. it's, you know, just, Jeff and Ron just got it. They just yep. took this outfit they just took over. It over. And I'm telling you what, this is going to be a regular place for our spring stops. We had a lot of fun. Oh we my gosh. We were able to get a little fishing in. Yeah. And you know what? I mean, in the bear hunting, I mean, we had activity every night. Yes, we did. So we have a great show. So let's just get going, yes. shall we? Saskatchewan. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for having us. How are you? Good. What's thanks happening? Hey, thanks for having us. So excited to have you guys here. Oh. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Crazy, huh? Ralph, this is Ron. Hey, Ron, I'm Ralph. Nice to meet partner. you. Bear Paw Outfitters is owned and operated by old friends and business partners, Jeff Jerome and Ron Viavada. Ron and I are both very fortunate guys. We've got uh, a uh, financial planning practice. We don't do this for a living. We only do it because we love it. And I only do it because my wife says I can. I've been an outfitter myself in Montana for about the last 10 years and uh, we wanted to expand and wanted to look into something different and found an unbelievable opportunity here on a turnkey camp and uh, it's worked out really well. Last week we had uh, seven, got six or seven, the seventh guy passed a bunch. So we should be in good shape. That's what we want to hear. Yep. <laughs> I can't thank Ralph and Vicki enough for coming up here and just giving us the opportunity to host them. Uh, obviously they're childhood heroes of mine, have their videos from when they started. <laughs> I also have to uh, geek out on you a little bit and uh -oh, uh -oh. sign my uh, Super <laughs> Safari video. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> oh, <laughs> And I would like video. to see the bandana <laughs> if I could, if you brought that. <laughs> I might have one, I don't know. I'll use my underwear, it don't yeah. matter. No, I've been watching it forever. Is it the bandana you got Yeah, it's been a long haul. <laughs> yeah. Super Safari. 93. Oh, yep, you're gonna sign it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, in a lot of our travels, we, we, we meet a ton of different people. We do. And uh, Jeff and Ron are, are two of those guys that you just, you know you could be friends forever. Yeah, I mean, Jeff and Ron, they're a couple characters for sure. Oh, we had a great time. You will laugh. And I mean, they know what they're doing. They are out there, they are running baits and everything. Every day to make sure that, you know, all the hunters in camp are gonna have a great yep. evening sit. You know, what we do on a daily basis, Jeff and I uh, pretty much do a lot of running around. Uh, we bait, we do about 18 baits. So, you know, the morning will start off, we'll have a couple cups of coffee, figure out what we're gonna do, where we're going, and uh, get our baits prepared. We're using beaver, grain, meat scraps, grease, and uh, it has been bringing in the bears, but typically we're changing them out every couple days if they're not hit, but as this weather gets nicer and nicer, the bears are starting to come in, which is so neat. And we're starting to see more and more activity. So the early season's, you know, a little bit harder because you're fighting the rain, but as this weather gets nicer, the bear hunt gets better. Located in northern Saskatchewan, Bear Paw Outfitters offers one of the best black bear hunting experiences in the world. Jeff and Ron's operation boasts a 95% success rate and a 100% opportunity to harvest a huge Canadian Bruin and gives hunters a very good chance to harvest a highly sought after color phase bear. I mean, everybody had multiple bear encounters. I mean, everything that you, you know, we, we witnessed years ago in Saskatchewan and then we didn't do it for a while. Um, we returned and it hasn't changed. It's a good place. <laughs> we 
With a break in the weather, Ralph and Vicki finally get a chance to head to the blind. So we got set up in this area. There's a lot of down trees, a lot of wind blow down. Uh, we're gonna get set up and see what we can do. Ralph and Vicki are at Bear Paw Outfitters in northern Saskatchewan hunting for black bear. First night out, Saskatchewan black bear hunting. Got a browning crossbow and we are set to go. Set up in different locations, both Ralph and Vicki have had bears in close, but have been patiently waiting for a true Bruin to make its way in front of their browning crossbows. The thing going on up there is because we had our, our blinds, we actually went in and set up our blinds right before we hunted, and they obviously does not bother the bears. No, no. You know, in blind hunting, like you said earlier, blind hunting is really a, a newer way to do something, and it adds that, I think, that little bit more of an adrenaline rush. And uh, if you've never tried it, yeah, you, you gotta try it. Bear, come in. Oh, gotta watch all this. That bear was standing right here. Check it out. Spitfire, double cross. Went right through. That beaming white out, look at that. I love those things just because it allows you to see that blood, see exactly where you hit. Come right through here. And there's the bear. Right there. From, uh, let's just say 20 yards. Oh yeah, nice bear. Well, we got a good old bear here in Saskatchewan. You know, we haven't been here in a lot of years and 
and Jeff's, Jeff bought this Bear Paw Outfitters and said, listen guys, you think you'd give me a chance and come on up? And I'm sure glad we did. We're going wishing. Yep. I'm gonna do some fishing. I guess we need to bring dinner home. With a break in the weather and one bear in the bag, Ralph and Vicky decide to swap out their crossbows for fishing poles. Everybody in camp has put the pressure on Vicky and I to bring home some fresh fillets walleye. of walleye. Walleye, for dinner. For dinner. They said if we don't, we're all gonna starve tonight. So we have to really hope that we get some fish. But so, Patrick says it's on. Patrick and Cliff said that, that, oh yeah, no worries, that they know where the fish are and they will catch fish. They didn't say nothing about Ralph and Vic. So we'll see how this goes. bigger than Vicky. here at Bear Camp. It just can't get any better. Fresh fish for lunch before we go out to shoot a big bear. Perfect. Good stuff. Thank you guys for lunch. I should work at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, if you noticed, uh, my, my fishing expertise came out. You know, I had to check the water temp and the coloration of the water, and uh, I checked the, the contours of the- You put a frozen the, minnow on a jig and went like this and caught a walleye. That's what you did. You know? That's not really. After checking trail cameras, Jeff and Ron have some great news. One of the newer bait stations has finally been hit and the bear is huge. That's right on a river, and that was a new one that was hit. It was violent. I mean, trash, the, everything in there. You guys are in it every day, every day. Like when you walked into it, was the, feel, the gut feeling like, yeah, this is? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, this is the place. Absolutely. All right, let's put her in there. Okay. Hunting black bears in northern Saskatchewan, Ralph and Vicki are enjoying the hospitality, food, and new friends at Bear Paw Outfitters. Although Vicki has had several encounters, her desire to harvest a huge boar has convinced her to be patient. It's a good thing that my tensing pack can hold all of my stuff. It's been a risky choice as she's headed to the blind on the last night in bear camp for one last sit. It is windy. Look at the trees. I hope it calms down and I hope that none of the trees over our heads snap on us. You know, hunting from a ground blind is a different thing. I mean, there's a, you get a little more nervous when the bears come close. Don't look at me like that. I love that. I know you do. I love it too, but it is something different. If you're not ready for this and you're nervous anyways, maybe you should oh, sit in a tree. Yeah, you're right. I'm just saying. We sort of freak some people out, but it's cool. It is.
Now, I sat in the same place a couple times for a couple days. Yep. And we had different bears coming in. And it's one of those things where we're, for two days in a row, I was never presented an opportunity for a good shot. So, I mean, patience, you know, you think you just go out and it's done. And yeah. it wasn't like that. I mean, two days in a row, I sat in the same place and I was never presented a shot on the bear that I really liked. That's hunting. My arrow went right through him and stuck in a tree. That is cool. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's insane. It just went through a bear. <laughs> That's cool. That's performance. Oh yeah, there's blood. Blood on that log there. He's down. Look at that. Oh, beautiful bear. Well, it's the last night of the hunt. Deep in the bush adventures. He's a longer boar, a beautiful bear. Tonight, it was it. This afternoon, I got him. They're coming to pick us up right now. I can hear Jeff. It is 9.30 right now. The only problem is, is now we have to figure out how we can get Jeff back here to get him. <sighs> Thank you, Lord, for allowing me a beautiful black bear. This is just dumb. Um, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful bear. And thank the good Lord above, seriously for the beautiful blue sky and sun today, the fishing, the fresh walleye we got to share with everyone. And now I have a beautiful black bear. And you know what? Ralphie, I know you were out fishing again this evening without me, but it's okay, because look what I got. <laughs> now that was a lot of fun. I'm going to tell you again, I said it before, this is, this is going to be one of those stops. Well, you know, I mean, and we love our bear hunting. You guys know we love our bear hunting. But in the spring, throw, it's but just- But to throw the fishing in there too, that was fun. And then, you know yeah, what? I we did provided catch, I dinner think, for everyone. No, I think did, I provided dinner. We provided dinner for everyone. The footage we, doesn't lie. We. What yeah, footage? I what caught, are you talking about? I, I caught, you act like, he, you know, seriously. But anyways, we did have a great time. And you know what? Jeff and Ron, like we said, they just got this new business going on up And there. they're really, what's cool is they're ready, already planning for next year. They right. want to get the baits further in. They want to use waterways. They're... This is going to be a good place. This is place. going to be a good place, and we can't wait to get back up there again. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So, it's hey, we want to thank you guys for making your choice. Choice. We'll see you next spell week. Saskatchewan. I don't need to spell like Saskatchewan. You can't even say it. Because <laughs> yeah. it's frustrating me. Saskatchewan. Can you spell say it? it? Saskatchewan. Can you spell it? Yes, I did. Let's hear it again. That's Saskatchewan. No, IT. I said, can you spell it? Beep. <laughs> <laughs>